So this is a brief video showing you how to edit one of these flood pages. So you would see your name listed here. So only edit the page where your name is actually listed. And of course, there's a link back to the main flood lab if you need to look back at any instructions or information overall. Um, but the first thing you're going to do is read or listen to, depending on your assigned flood, something about a particular type of flood from a first person narrative. And then you're going to fill in information. Now to edit this page, it's not a Google Doc, so people can't edit at the same time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the edit button. And then you want to come here and you want to put your name in. So if you're the first person to arrive in this room, put your name in there. If you're the second person, somebody else's name is here, then put your name in next. The next thing is save. So the key here is that because it's not a Google Doc, it's not, if somebody else comes and edits over it, it's going to be a problem. So you want to make sure that you're kind of claiming your space, but don't do that and then leave for a really long time because people are going to be waiting because these questions kind of build from one to the next. So once you put your name in, then go find your research, do your research for your particular question. And then put that into a Word document so that then it's not, you're not typing in here and potentially losing work. Once you're done, copy and paste into here. So then you come back in here, you would um, go down to this line and you can provide it down here. You know, so right under the question, you can just, you know, put in, you know, whatever your text is. Here's your text. There's your answers. If you're going to include an image, that's sort of where you want to embed an image. That's the only time you don't want to copy and paste. And there are there's actually linked instructions for those of you that need to do the um, to do a link to uh, to do to an embedded image. But anybody, of course, is welcome to embed an image. I hope that helps.